This video demonstrates how to use the FSB's developer assistance feature to develop a project, with two sensor modules. A temperature and humidity sensor and a gas detection sensor are used. First, please prepare the following items. The EKRA2E1 board, the interposer board, relative humidity sensor PMOD board, HS3001, and digital gas sensor PMOD board, ZMOD4410. Insert the ZMOD4410 into the HS3001, then insert the HS3001 with the ZMOD4410 into the interposer board. Connect the combined sensors to PMOD2, J25 of the EKRA2E1. E-Square Studio will be used as the integrated development environment. We recommend using FSP version 440 or above. The preparation is now complete. First, create a new project. Select Renesis RA from File, New to create a project. Next, enter the project name. Set the board to EKRA2E1 and proceed. Here, we will proceed with the settings without using RTOS, but you can check the operation by following the same procedure even if you select another RTOS. Select bare metal, minimal and finish the project creation. Then, configure the FSP and generate code. Open the Stacks tab. First, add an HS3001 related module from new stack. Click at I2C Communications Peripheral and select New, I2C Master. Next, add a ZMOD4410 related module from new stack. Click at ZMOD Library and select New. ZMOD 4410IAQ second generation. Click at I2C shared bus below it. Select use for both the HS300X and ZMOD 4XXX modules because they share a bus. Scroll down and click at IRQ driver for measurement optional, then select new external IRQ. To set PMOD 2 of EKRA2E1 to type 6A it is necessary to change the channels and pin configuration. First, click the Properties tab. Focus on GI2C0, I2C Master and change the channel to 1. Similarly, focus on GExternal IRQ0, External IRQ and change the channel to 6. Next, change the settings in the Pins tab. Select Ports. P4, P409 and change the mode to disabled. After this configuration, the FSP will automatically switch the mode to IRQ mode. Select Peripherals, Connectivity, SCI, SCI1. Click the value column of Operation Mode and change it to Simple I2C, and change SDA1 to P401 and SCL1 to P402. Select Peripherals, Input, ICU, ICU0 and change IRQ06 to P409. After completing the settings, click Generate Project Content. The Developer Assistance feature is convenient for users to create application code simply by dragging and dropping a set of functions and other elements. Before building, open source. HALENTRY.C and add the functions indicated by the red frame in developer assistance one by one before the HALENTRY function. First, add the HS3001 code. Add HS300X temperature humidity sensor, I2C communication device, I2C shared bus, call quick setup. Next, add HS300X temperature slash humidity sensor, call quick setup. Scroll up to change these two macro definitions to 1. Then, add HS300X temperature slash humidity sensor, call quick getting humidity and temperature.
Add ZMOD 4 XXX gas sensor, call quick setup. Scroll up to change these four macro definitions to 1. Finally, add ZMOD 4 XXX gas sensor, quick getting IAQ second gen. Data. Next, add processing to the HAL entry function. While pressing Ctrl plus space to write, function names will be highlighted in green in the prediction bar. Add the three setup functions below the comment. In addition, this video also describes an infinite loop. Declare two global variables required for sensor data acquisition. Add the HS3001 and ZMOD4410 data acquisition functions to the infinite loop mentioned above. The code modification is now complete. After selecting the project name, right click it and click build project. After a successful build, perform debugging. Connect the evaluation board and PC with a USB cable. Click reverse triangle next to the debug icon and select debug configurations. Select the target under Renesis GDB hardware debugging and press the debug button. Add the variables to the expressions view to view the values measured by the sensor in real time. Drag and drop these two variables to the expressions view. Right click the selected values, select enable real time refresh and execute them with the resume button. When the program stops again in the main function, click resume again. The program is now running. It will take some time to measure gas sensor data such as IAQ, TVOC, ETOH, and ECO2. After about 100 to 130 seconds, you should be able to see real-time sensor data measurements. For more information, Please visit the Renesis Sensor Software page.